Hi Taurus, welcome to your September reading. I'm Anna. We're going to take a look at the tarot cards. I also read intuitively. We're going to see what's going on for the month of September for you. I'll do a Celtic cross and then at the end I take a key card. Um, you should be looking at your sun or rising, most importantly your rising sign. If you're feeling emotional this month, do take a look at your moon sign, okay? Um, if the reading resonates with you, please click subscribe. I appreciate it. Your center energy. Taurus, I cannot make this stuff up. I. This came out in your August or September as your center energy. You, you know your birthstone is the emerald, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is... I have named your August um, Emerald City, Pot of Gold at the End of the Rainbow. It's just a very blessed time for you. If not, if you're not feeling it, we're going to find out why and how to get your Pot of Gold at the End of the Rainbow and your Emerald City. Okay? Amazing. Rumpelstiltskin, I feel you weaving gold out of straw. Okay? crazy Taurus. Strength, the strength card, the strength card. I, I need to speak it right now. And I, I usually don't do that. I usually get all the cards out first. There's been some hardship in your life and I am talking to the point of losing people. Okay. And I feel like this is to build your strength. I feel like this is to build your strength. Okay? The Spirit is saying, show your strength. So that means to me that the strength is already in you. You just need to know that and use it. You already have the strength in you. Okay? So there's been a, I feel like, losses. Okay? People, friends, jobs, property, money, whatever the loss is, I really do feel like it's that you may have experienced recent deaths with people that you know, okay? Last year, this year, something like that. And this is a chance for you to show your strength, okay? Doesn't mean that you don't feel it. Doesn't mean that you don't care. It means that you have the inner strength, Okay, know that because this could be crossing you, but it's also could be supporting you. It's the Celtic cross. It goes across the card this way. Let your strength be your strength. Okay. Okay, foundation. The sojourner, king of cups. There it is. There it is. Um... Taurus, I, I feel you um, getting into the emotion of things. I almost want to say kind of the drama of things. So these people must be close to you because you, I feel like you are very closely involved. And so there are certain expectations for people when we experience loss and death. Okay, the King of Cups is in charge of those emotions. You know what? I'm getting chills. So I want us to start to look at death and loss in a different way. Um, I can't believe the way I'm seeing it. And I hope that you can resonate with this. I feel you adding a, it's a pebble or a stone. Interesting that this is 10 of pentacles, 10 of stones, 10 of pentacles. I feel like you adding a stone to your, oh, I see why, to your collection. Okay, what do I mean by that? Look at that 
thing that you have lost, okay? Combine it down into a memory stone, a memory stone. Take all of the beauty from that person's life, every interaction and all of your relationship with that person. Place it into a gem stone. Don't let it weigh you down. Let it be your treasure. You are not going to let that loss weigh you down. You are turning it into a treasure, a gemstone. That's what the King of Cups would do. Okay? He travels light. He travels with riches. He doesn't travel heavy laden. I love her. I love that she's coming out for September. She's in your past. You look at her power. Raven, crows, they travel in murders, not flocks. They're called murders of crows. Look at where her power is coming from. If you can turn your past and the death of people that you have known, things that you have known, careers that you have known, if you can turn them into gemstones, this is the most intuitive card in the deck. This is how you gain intuition. You turn death into life. You turn stones into gemstones. Amazing. Seven of mirrors is the seven of cups. <laughs> okay. Um, in the forefront of your mind, I feel like you thinking, okay, what goes next? You know, what do we lose next? Okay. So you're aging and it seems like as we age, we lose more and more things. Okay. I want you to Turn that around once again. Look at it from a different perspective. You still have so many options, roads, paths, avenues available to you. Don't look at what is torn away from you next. Look at what you can gain next. Sometimes things are taken away in our lives to make room for more glorious things to come in. That's the message. That's the message. Seven of Cups. That's the message. For sure. No way. No way. There's your rainbow. There's your raven rising from the ashes. He's got so much more to see, so much more to do, so much more to accomplish. Get your zest back for life. If you have experienced loss and you feel like you are depressed, right? All these stones weighing on you. Get your zest back for life. Okay. It's spice. Um, it's orange zest. What this is speaking to me about is you are what you eat. Taurus. Health is important um, for most of September because the Virgo, the sun is in Virgo. Your health is important, okay? What's going to help you feel better and get out of this kind of dark stage or this loss stage? Be careful what you feed yourself truly, okay? If you don't like death, don't feed yourself death, Okay. Anybody can figure out what death means. What's dead in your diet? Okay. So focus more on spice, zest. Okay. That literally 
will help you gain those things in your life. If you focus on herbs, greens, fruits, that's literally going to help you get back spice and zest. I'm not kidding. You truly are what you eat. You truly are. Okay. Beautiful. Add some color to your diet. Add the rainbow to your diet. That's your key for the month. Let's see what the key card says. Wow. I'm very sorry for all of your losses, Taurus. It's making room for much more glorious things. Take those treasured memories you have, store them with you in your heart, in your treasure chest, and feel good about those things. Okay? What beautiful, beautiful gemstones, those things added to your life. Where are we going? Earth star chakra. Okay. Guys, the earth star chakra is, it's not a typical chakra. It is one that's below your feet in the earth. Where do people go when they die? into the earth. Okay. What is the process of death and life? The death will decay and make the soil super fertile. That's what death is supposed to do. That's what loss is supposed to do. It's you're supposed to gather the treasures from it. This soil has become super rich because you've had a lot of loss, okay? All of that death is decaying in the soil. The decay makes the most fertile soil on earth. What are you going to grow now in your beautiful, fertile garden? You've already been given a clue. The rainbow is what you want to grow in your garden now. Oz. Emerald gemstones. I didn't realize I was saying gemstones. Emerald gemstones, Taurus. This is absolutely amazing. I hope this resonates with you. Please do subscribe. I will see you again in mid-September. We'll check in with these energies. They're continuous. If you go back and look at August, you're going to see this guy come up again. Okay? So, recent losses. Let them decay and fertilize your soil. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.